smoke might work vibrate. Hello and welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library. I want to take a moment to thank TV47 and Robert for the wonderful job they do of helping us put on this program to let the community know about uh, things related to the library and activities going on. Today, I'm very excited. I'm talking with Mark Wingfield. He is a local a local guy here, uh, a, a photographer and as well as other things. And uh, uh, before we get started, Mark, I want to tell the tie-in to the, uh, the reason I ask you looking he did some personal uh, pic pictures for us and in looking through your Facebook page at the pictures and other things you're doing you've pictured a snowflake and that relates to a book we have so we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes but thank you Mark for being here well thanks for having me I appreciate that good good tell about yourself where are you from what do you do things like that uh, I grew up in Goodwater which is only about uh, 15 minutes from here um, I live here in Sylacauga now uh -huh. I uh, work in Goodwater at the family business. Okay. Uh, I went to Auburn University and yeah. uh, graduated there. <coughs> uh, worked at the fire department <coughs> full time while I did that. I enjoyed that a good oh, bit. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I actually uh, started off in a volunteer department in Goodwater. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the first big fires I went to was when B.B. Comer caught on fire here. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I was kind of just hooked after that. So mm -hmm. when I went to Auburn, I started in a volunteer department. and. Uh, got into the full time and they helped pay for school and stuff while I was doing that so I really really enjoyed that but um, I've got uh, three kids I've got uh, Robert who's 17 he's uh, a junior this year mm -hmm. looking forward to him being a senior next year yeah. I've got uh, Rhea that's uh, 11 and okay. Reese that's six so I uh, really enjoy my family you know yeah. that's that's the most important part so and you work at Wingfield Engineering. Wingfield, right? right. That's uh, in Goodwater. It's a family business. We've yeah. been around uh, about 55 years, but we make uh, electrical control panels and uh, these big modular uh, electrical equipment rooms. Some okay. of those can get 100 feet long and 30 feet wide, but oh my we build them in a factory and uh, disassemble them and then ship them to the plants. And some of those buildings are so big they have to come into four sections to fit on top, you know, a oh truck for shipping. Yes, yes. And some of those sections can weigh as much as 100,000 pounds a piece. I mean, they're pretty. Wow pretty big pieces of equipment but they're basically like a um, a breaker panel for your house okay. except it runs conveyors and, and uh, wow. blower motors and things like that. I can't even uh, begin to understand all that. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> best just to look nice. at the website. It's yeah. hard to explain to people what we well, do. Great, great. So you don't do photography full-time. It's no. just kind of like a hobby. That's right. right. Yeah. And did did you take classes or? Just uh, no, uh, really I just got my first <laughs> decent camera. Uh, my parents gave it to me as a gift probably about six years ago wow. and uh, I just want to take good pictures of my kids you know oh. and uh, my oldest one doesn't like to have pictures taken anymore <laughs> so I don't get to post many of him but oh. uh, yeah I just was a little bit of a perfectionist with it I would I would uh, I would see something I wanted to make a little different and I would either get on YouTube or you know search right. the internet and just yeah. figure out how to do one thing at a time and I would apply it and go back and look and see if I got the results mm -hmm. I wanted and if I did uh, you know I would just apply that from then on and try to learn the next thing. Wow, that's neat. there's a YouTube video for everything. That's I right. Getting there, there right now. That absolutely. Well, you take beautiful, beautiful pictures. I know our family had some family shots made, and I was so pleased and so excited. So you did a great job, and Thank it you. was a fun day. Actually, <laughs> we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. So you started taking uh, snapshots of your kids, of, right. of your children. I know that's great. A lot of parents. I'm just kind of a point and click kind of person, and, and don't have great photographs that I've taken. But we rely on people like you to do that. So you have to have the right equipment, and you have to have the time I know to put into all that. Um, what is your favorite? Do you like taking pictures of people or scenes or, or different things? Or I, I really enjoy all of it, and it's and it's all a different challenge, you know. And it's a different learning curve, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I really enjoy the landscapes. That's relaxing to me because you know you're it's a hike or it's a destination right. or it's something, and you, you spend some time studying it and wanting to make it. Okay. Want to make it come out in the picture like what you're seeing with your eyes, you know, oh. so other people can enjoy it or you can have those memories. With uh, people, it's a different challenge, you know, they got to get the, the lighting right and uh, sometimes you want the background to show up or you just want mm -hmm. the person perfectly in focus and the background to fuzz out instead of everything oh. being perfectly in focus. And I really enjoy working with kids and families. I, yeah. I, there's a lot I do every year and it's so fun to watch the children grow and change. And oh, I bet. Everybody ends up being close friends, you know, that's by the time true. you're done with it. So I, I really true. enjoy that that's part. True. Well, you sent me some to look at. Let's see if we can pull up some, some of your pictures. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, this is up on uh, Skyway 
uh, not far from here, out of town. Okay. You know, you go out 148, uh, they call it the Bill Nichols Scenic Highway, but uh, mm -hmm. this is what's called a star trail. And if you see the center uh, of the picture there where all the stars are spinning around, that's the North Star. And if you expose the uh, picture long enough, and this is like a two and a half hour exposure, okay. uh, the stars will, will streak through the sky from where the oh, earth is spinning. Oh my goodness. Two and a half hours you spent it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. great. It's really just, it, yeah, oh, this was one of the first pictures I really had people notice and ask okay. if I could use on websites and stuff. But <clears throat> this is a wedding I shot. It's over uh, at, uh, I think it's called Russell Crossings, but it's okay. it's over near Lake Martin. But, oh, uh, how nice. Yeah, it was just right after a wedding. Uh, this is uh, Gulf Shores. Uh, there had been a big lightning storm, and I really missed most of it because we were eating dinner. But I walked out to just take a long exposure shot and managed to catch catch that little bolt of lightning in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful lights. Uh, this is uh, in Inslee. This is the old Tennessee Iron and Coke. Uh, it was a big steel mill. Uh, this mm -hmm. Fairfield Steel is there now. Uh, but uh, I just like finding the old uh, ruins and stuff. And it's, to me, it's beautiful. You know, I like to get inside and see those kind of places. You, on the left or the right-hand side, you can see the smokestacks uh, sticking up from where one of the furnaces was at. So you do spend some time look, looking up different places to go. Well, that place actually caught my eye. I was driving oh. by, going to a job at uh, Miller's Steam Plant okay. uh, for Alabama Power, and I saw there were some train uh, engines where they used to mm -hmm. move stuff around in the steel mill there, and it caught my eye. I really wanted to get in and see those, but then the, the factory was so much right. more pretty than the cars. I spent a lot of time in there. And I'm sure since you do this a lot, your eyes always looking for... Oh, places yeah. you can photograph. Yeah, yeah. I'm always yeah. excited when I see something new. And, uh, so you've traveled around around the state and around the country, right? Yeah, yeah. Really, I, I, I've got a girlfriend. Her name's Jessica Rushing, and she's so good at planning out the trips and finding places. Yay. And uh, she seems to really. Know, I mean, she knows what I enjoy, so she finds places where we've got good, you know, photographic oh, that's opportunities. Great. Yeah. That's great. We'll look at a few more and see what we've got here. Uh, this is back on Skyway. Uh, there's some beautiful places just really close to us, but mm -hmm. this is just, uh, I was coming home from work and I came that way. I can yeah. come the back way and come up the Bill Nichols Scenic Highway. Uh -huh. I just uh, got out of the car and ran up uh, a little trail to get that shot. I knew the sunset was going to be pretty that right. night. But. Oh. <laughs> uh, this isn't a train tunnel. Uh, this is a place down uh, in uh, South Alabama near Monroeville uh, called Tunnel mm -hmm. Springs. And I went just to take pictures of the train tunnel, but this little owl was sitting in there. Uh, just staring right at me and he sat so still I was able to take that with uh, just a flashlight oh. dimly lighting him but he sat so still I could do a long exposure on him. Oh my goodness that's neat. Oh how pretty. Uh, this is a camping trip just a couple of weekends ago but uh, Jessica's so patient when I'm when I'm playing with my flash <laughs> and my camera. There's actually a the two stars that are kind of uh, orange are lanterns and when you tighten up the aperture on the camera it'll make things are like stars, you know, a bright light. So oh. those are stars, I mean, there's lanterns. And on the yeah. left-hand side, uh, that's a flash I put across the creek. It's, it's kind of hard to tell without zooming in, but there's two hammocks hanging right over a creek there. So I was trying to illuminate oh, that part. But how neat. She was reading the book and I'm just taking pictures <laughs> nonstop. Oh. Uh, this is Atlanta, uh, I've taken out of the Westin. If it's the uh, round hotel that, with mm -hmm. a rotating restaurant oh, on top. Yeah. But I uh, actually had to take that one through glass, which is kind of difficult to do a long exposure. Okay. Things want to move. But uh, you see it's a little blurry in the lower left-hand corner. That's just refraction from the glass. I probably wouldn't have noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to pause for, commercial breaks and then, uh, for a commercial break, and then we're going to come back and look at some more of your pictures, Mark. Hope you'll join us. Hi, it's Shawnee McNeil at South First Bank. This is a great time for you to buy or build a new home or maybe refinance your present mortgage. Our rates are the lowest they've been in years, and that means saving you money. We've been helping our customers become homeowners in this area for nearly 70 years, and we can make our approvals right here in the office, and that means saving you time. We're located here in downtown Sylacauga. Come in and find South First, a better way to bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by today and see us. Marble City Pharmacy, where your health comes first. Coosa Valley Medical Center. 
one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Mark Wingfield and we're looking at some of Mark's photography. Um, right here you've got a camera. Tell me just a minute about your camera before we look at some more of your pictures. Uh, this is a Nikon D750. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been out just a couple of years. Uh, they update them about every two years. Okay. So if you're, uh, if you're looking to buy a camera, just see how long it's been out. You might want to wait just a few months before, oh, you, that's true. before you buy. You can get the latest mm -hmm. and greatest. Yeah. But uh, this is a 24 to 70 millimeter lens that I keep on here. This is a nice one for uh, doing portrait work and stuff. Okay. You can zoom in and out and get close and far away. Yeah. This is a uh, 70 to 200. I use it a good bit. Uh, you can really get away with just having these two lenses for mm -hmm. most anything you want to do. But uh, I have a whole bag full of lenses. I probably have about, <laughs> really about six of them. There's uh -huh. uh, fish eyes and macro lenses for when you want to get up really oh, close yeah. to something. Uh, and then there's, uh, there's lenses that don't zoom. They're called prime lenses. <clears throat> and I use those to do a lot of portrait work because they can get a really precise focus like oh, on someone's yeah. eye and make everything else kind of blur oh, out goodness. from there. But That's you can invest cool. quite a bit of money you know, in, in your lenses and camera I and stuff. But can, it, but having good equipment makes a huge difference as well. I'm sure it does. You can invest a lot, but you get a lot out of it. That's, That's right. great. Well, let's look at some more of your pictures. You sent several. I want to get to them. Tell us about that one. Uh, this is uh, Smith Mountain <coughs> Fire Tower. It's, uh, it's in near Dadeville uh, on Lake Martin. And this fire tower is actually restored uh, by some local Boy Scouts. And uh, there was a a whole group that helped uh, redo it and put new stairs on and new top on it and everything. But they actually let you climb it. They encourage people to come and hike the little trail and climb up it. Are there two towers? How'd you take that picture? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I've got a 360 camera that's a, a little small camera that I can put out on a, a stick. Uh, and it's on about a six foot stick. And uh, you can okay. take a computer program and kind of push it back where it, you can see more okay. uh, of what's around you. And it makes it look like you're further away from it than you really oh, are. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Oh, how pretty. Uh, this uh, is Jekyll Island, G Georgia, and this is one of those trips I was talking about that uh, Jessica planned, just knowing it was yes. going to be a great place to take pictures, but uh, they have what's called the Boneyard Beach, where there's mm -hmm. uh, there's dead trees and uh, stuff where the oh, beach is eroded goodness, away. Yeah. Um, and we were actually had gone out to scout out a picture. We wanted to, I really wanted a sunrise picture, and the sun rises uh -huh. through those trees, but it was so pretty, and you could see the stars so well. We hiked back to the car about half a mile to get the camera. Uh -huh. Uh, and came back and took these pictures, probably finished about maybe one thirty in the morning. We were oh. back up at 5 to take, oh take a sunrise picture. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, this is a cave in uh, North Alabama. It's up near Scottsboro, and it's oh. a wild cave. You know, there's no lights or anything in there. Oh. And uh, it's kind of hard to drag your camera equipment through. But, uh, oh, I bet. That's uh, Jessica holding a flashlight up. And there's a little waterfall coming from the top. You can kind of see it uh, dripping there. And there's two flashes set behind her. And in the front uh, four lighting, in the foreground, mm -hmm. I, I did a technique called uh, light painting, where I just took a flashlight and kind of lit it up while uh, the shutter was open. It's about a 13-second oh, exposure, okay. so it, it makes it look like the whole thing was bright. Lots of equipment you take with you, oh, not yeah. just your camera. <laughs> uh, this oh, is another uh, place that, like I said, there's just beautiful places all around us, but this mm -hmm. is uh, High Falls. It's kind of near Chiha, between here and Chiha. Wow. And uh, there's three waterfalls right in a row there. Oh, my but, this is one of those occasions I knew about the place, but I got up and went there early in the morning to catch it at the right mm -hmm. time to get the sun in that position. You have to know where the sun rises and, and what time and all that. That's, that's right. Oh, now tell about this one. Yes. Uh, this is the Lincoln Memorial, uh, and I know you had some stuff you were wanting to tell yeah. us about this as well, but uh, this is one of those times where we took pictures and we were there in the middle of the day, but we came back at 2 in the morning to get pictures with no one in them, you know, wow. just, just to get pictures of it. <laughs> by itself. I yeah. would never have thought about that coming at night so you wouldn't have any people in there. Right. I mean any people because you want just a picture of the, I mean, yes the Lincoln Memorial, we just finished the Marble Festival uh, Saturday it was over and I gave several tours and one of the things I tell is the marble that's in the ceiling of the Lincoln Memorial is Sylacauga marble and they wanted that particular marble because it's translucent, it's very pure, it's very white, lets light through so that probably made a difference. Yeah, so I'd like it, to think it made a difference in your picture. Oh yeah, there's some I took a little further 
back where you can see that, but it's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. So you said you have apps on your phone and that tell about... Uh, that's right. I've got uh, an app called uh, TPE, I think is the name of it. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you can put in any time of the year, any day or, you know, a location, mm -hmm. and it'll tell you where the sun's going to rise and where it sets. And, uh, you know, so if you're standing there and it's not the right time of day and you want to see if the sun's going to look right for sunrise mm -hmm. or sunset picture, you can pull that app out and look and wow. kind of tell where it's going to come up and go down. And wow. That's, get a good idea. That's a lot of research goes into oh, yes, <laughs> to yes, taking pictures. Okay. I'm sorry. Now, Robert, we'll look at the next picture. Then. Oh. Uh, this is uh, just, if you're facing the Lincoln Memorial and uh, the Washington Monument would be behind you, uh, this is just to the left of it. The Vietnam Memorial is on the right, but yeah. this is a Korean War Memorial. Oh. And this, uh, I'd been there a few times. But this is the first time I'd seen this, but uh, it just struck me with the looks on the soldiers' faces. If you zoom mm -hmm. in, they... They've got a look of horror on them, but uh, mm. this is one I, I, I probably spent an hour and a half trying to set up this shot and get the perfect angle and make it look right. You mm. know, it wasn't just a, a just a quick shoot. Right. Well, I think you did a great job. Oh. Uh, this uh, was just a prom picture that I'd taken, but uh, yeah. I'm just started working with uh, off-camera flash to really okay. control the light and get the result I want and, mm -hmm. and get, uh, you can see how I can turn the ISO up and get the, the pretty glow from the, mm -hmm. the candelabras behind her and uh, the reflections and the, it was fairly bright where we took that but I was able to make it look like it's dim by uh, mm -hmm. running the shutter speed up and, and getting her oh, face okay. exposed just right with a flash. But And that's nice. All of my problems are just, you know, in my living room <laughs> <laughs> by the TV or something like that. Oh, and there's Ray. Yeah, that's How my daughter Ray. She uh, she doesn't mind letting me take pictures of her, so she's my model all the time when I'm oh, trying to learn new yeah, things. Me. She must have been dressed up for something. That was uh, Halloween. Yeah, that was her outfit. Uh, now, she is very active in school, isn't she? In, um, She's on a uh, math team, uh, right. and they go and do competitions all around the state, and uh, they usually win some awards for Pinecrest. They've got a great bunch of teachers over there awesome, that, yeah. that do great with them. That's great. Okay. Uh, we'll just pause again for another commercial break, and then we'll come back and look at some more pictures. Hi, it's Shawnee McNeil at South First Bank. This is a great time for you to buy or build a new home or maybe refinance your present mortgage. Our rates are the lowest they've been in years, and that means saving you money. We've been helping our customers become homeowners in this area for nearly 70 years, and we can make our approvals right here in the office, and that means saving you time. We're located here in downtown Sylacauga. Come in and find South First, a better way to bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by today and see us. Marble City Pharmacy, where your health comes first. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery to cancer treatment to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Mark Wingfield, who is a photographer here. We've been looking at some beautiful, beautiful pictures that Thank you've you. uh, you've taken, and I want to go right back to them. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, this was the recent storm uh, where the tornadoes were in uh, Jacksonville, mm -hmm. but again, this is the other end of Skyway. This is over uh, towards Talladega. There's a very pretty overlook on that side when you get close to 77. But this is actually a composite uh, of many pictures. I, I okay. just sat up there and photographed as many. Uh, lightning streaks as I could get, but this is all of them put together, oh, uh, and it makes a pretty interesting photo. It does. It does. Uh, I included this picture because this is the first one uh, that really got me interested in trying to take better landscape pictures okay. and, and uh, got me interested in the low light stuff. If, uh, this was down at Gulf Shores, and uh, I'd stepped out and just noticed the, the moon was behind me over the water. Mm -hmm but it lit up the clouds so pretty and, and uh, really made for an interesting picture. That is but uh, this is probably also what really started my love with low light photography. Okay. If you, if you learn to take pictures uh, with low light in the mm -hmm. dark, you can pretty much take any other kind of oh, picture. You know, you, you learn those settings and how to handle the lighting situations. Right. Oh, 
another uh, one of the Lincoln Memorial. This is, uh, it's, it's kind of rare to get a picture without anyone in it. You know, and even yeah, at that time of night, yeah. there was people wandering around. We kind of had to wait a little while for oh, them to really? get out of the way wow. to get the shot I was looking for. But uh, if you look at this uh, on my Flickr page, and uh, mm-hmm. if anybody wants, is interested and wants to say, you can just uh, let me know on Facebook. Okay. Anybody's welcome to friend yeah. me. But uh, Flickr yeah. doesn't compress the pictures quite like Facebook, but you can okay. zoom in and you can read all the names of the states on the top and see incredible oh, yeah. detail in that picture. Mm-hmm. So pretty. Uh, this uh, just... Again, one of the trips where Jessica just knew we would find good places to take pictures. But this is uh, the Ohio River, and uh, we're in Indiana looking across to uh, Kentucky, or not uh, Kentucky, but there's Louisville right on the other side there. But uh, this was just lucky timing. Uh, We were walking past, going to a restaurant, and... uh, the baseball game over there just ended, so they started oh, shooting up fireworks. I was and we say, just is it the 4th of July? But no. It's just the end of a baseball game, oh, and we lucky. just happened to be standing there to catch it. That's great. And love the reflection in the water. Oh, another close-up. Yeah, it's just a little better detail of him there. And uh, there's another one, if you go to my Flickr page, where you can actually see the marble that's in the ceiling. But oh, uh, yeah. that's uh, just an incredible thing to see at night. That's mm. to me. That's one of the I most would never have thought. There. I've never thought about go. Well, I would probably want to be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Oh, now that's one of the snowflake pictures. Tell me about this. That. Uh, this was a more difficult picture to take uh, yeah. than you would think. That snowflake is tiny, and uh, you know the gloves like a they're like a neoprene glove where you can't even really see the wave. They yes. just look shiny. Yeah. That's what that is, and you can see oh. it almost looks like it's laying on a sweater. But um, it's yeah. it's something where you couldn't see that oh. uh, wave with your eye. And so I had to put on a macro lens, and I got a tripod out. And uh, again, Jessica and her patience, you know, most people would be rolling their eyes and ready to go. But uh, it, it took a little time and, and the right equipment and special light on the end of the lens to really get that. But Well, that's, that's the ones I saw that made me uh, not want think about, oh, this would be a great program. Is Somebody commented in the comments of your Facebook page, I think, after you took those. Oh, do you know there's a book called Snowflake Bentley about the first man that took pictures of snowflakes. This is a very neat story. I don't know. He uh, he went to great lengths, too. This was years ago in the cold and just with, you know, not with a nice camera <laughs> with for however, however many years ago it was, but that was just kind of a neat story. I, and I love tying a book to it, you know. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. That's my yeah. friend Beth Haynes mentioned that. Yeah. We went to school together uh, together in Harpersville at Coosa oh, Valley. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, a lot of time taking those snowflake pictures. It really then, was. And, yeah. and extremely cold. Oh, I <laughs> thought bet. my feet were going to freeze before oh, I was done. I bet. I bet. Well, we've got a few more we want to look at. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, um, Cades Cove, you know, near Gatlinburg. Mm-hmm. I've been there several times wanting to take pictures of bears and the. Uh, there had been so many bear sightings around here at the time. I was okay. really, really wanting to get a bear picture. But uh, there was a mama bear with uh, two cubs. And uh, actually, I, we probably weren't supposed to. We were following them around for a while trying to get the mm. pictures. And uh, uh, got pretty close to that one. Of course, that's with a 200-millimeter lens. Okay. So I'm not with a not. two-time teleconverter. So it's uh, You're not as close as it looks. Not as close yeah. as it looks. Well, but, of course, they were paying attention to us. They were yeah. looking the whole time. Oh, my goodness. That's a little scary to me. Uh, this is another one with a macro lens. Uh, I just really enjoyed seeing all the details of the, the fly's eye. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. he's actually on my monitor at work, and it looks like it's filthy, but it's not. Uh, those little specks <laughs> are like strings there. You couldn't even see them with your eye. Oh, uh, and, and when I got the lens and zoomed in, you can see that's uh, 1 88th of an inch in the little square there. So you can oh just, um, the, the fly was tiny, mm-hmm. but he was being so still. So I went out to my truck and got my tripod and my macro lens. Oh, wow. <laughs> Had it set up on my desk to take that picture. My goodness, he did stay there a while. He did. A lot of patience. Lot of patience. Uh, this is just, again, the, the, the low light stuff I really enjoy taking. But uh, this is a place up uh, called Fall Creek Falls. It's in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can camp in a little tree house there. And it's very reasonable, very, very oh, pretty good. place. I think I've got a shot of the inside of it that might roll up in a minute. But, uh, yeah, there's the inside of it. Just oh, a beautiful wow. place. And, uh this is actually taken with a an eight millimeter lens, which is a, a fish eye. And on a full frame camera like this, you'll actually see a black ring around it, but I can uh, it, it looks like you're looking mm-hmm. through the, the peephole on a, on a it front does. door. It does. So you can, you can kind of edit all that out and, and uh, stretch the perspective a little bit to make it look normal, but uh, just a very pretty place. Uh-huh. Now that's my daughter, Reese. She's, uh, she's six. Uh-huh. And like I said, it's, uh, that's the whole reason I, I got into photography yeah. is just the joy of, of capturing uh, them as they're young. Oh, that's great. Does she love to pose for pictures? She does, but she gets a little tired of it. She's oh. not as patient as, as Ray is for for letting oh, me practice on her. 
happens. Wow. So I know sometimes you just happen up on a place, and sometimes you plan it. Did you do the eclipse? The uh, yeah, we did. That was uh, that was very uh, very fun, and uh, Jessica really planned it all out. Mm -hmm. She's she's very good at uh, uh -huh. timelines, and and uh, she knew. Uh, we went to Blood Mountain, Georgia, because that was going to be one of the longest. Uh, durations you know we were we were going to have like a minute and a half there but we ended up it got so crowded we in the in the sky wasn't very clear and so she had all these alternates logged down so we we drove uh about 40 minutes and we got i think uh almost two minutes or two minutes and 30 seconds oh, of totality goodness. but wow. uh the, i've put together some time lapses of it where you can actually watch all the different phases and mm -hmm. um i had this lens with a two-time teleconverter and uh i was a filter that's made for a telescope that it kind of ad ad oh. adapt to it, but you could actually see the sunspots on the sun. Oh, my goodness. It was, it was pretty interesting. Well, I'll have to go look. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you mentioned your Flickr page. Mm -hmm. um, they can get to that through your Facebook. Or that's right. Facebook yeah, if anybody wants to message, or I'll, I'll put a link mm -hmm. up there as well. But uh, Flickr's a really good learning tool for uh, for people that might want to get into photography. I learned a lot from it, but uh, you can see all the metadata from pictures. You can see what lens they use, mm -hmm. what settings, what f-stop, you know, so if if you see a picture you really like, you can study it and say, well, how did they do that? You know, and you can you can tell a whole lot from that. Mm -hmm. Plus, they give you a, a free terabyte of storage, which is nice. You can put all your pictures up there at full resolution, and oh, okay. the detail and the quality is much better than Facebook and Instagram and right. things like that. You can really zoom in and get all the details. Well, how neat! So. You do weddings, you do graduations and proms, just everything. I, so you yeah. know the good places to go. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's, that's uh, great. You know, and I really, I, I really don't push that very hard because uh, it's not my my main, right. you know, income or business. But uh, people ask, and it's it's usually friends or family or something yeah. like that that wants uh, wants something done. But I'm always glad to do anything right. for anybody. Well, you have taken a hobby to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> But that is great. Do you have any up any plans? We've got about a minute left to talk. Do you have any anything coming up? I know there's not another eclipse. I think of events like that. Uh, up. No, not really. And usually I don't. I almost didn't take the eclipse pictures. That was oh. just uh, I, Jessica really pushed me to do that, and yeah. I was glad we did. And we checked the kids out of school. That was a fun, oh, fun, yeah. fun learning experience for them. They all enjoyed it. But. Uh, I'm shooting a wedding at the end of the month for uh, Morgan Ingram at the beach, and the, the beach can be a challenging place to shoot. You know, the lights are hard, to, and the, the sand's so white and reflective, it can be a challenge. Wow. Well, I just appreciate you being here and sharing these with us. I know I enjoy being your friend on Facebook. I enjoy always seeing what you're doing and the comments people make, that it, and it's just great. Uh, just taking snapshots of people and, and this beautiful world we live in. Well, we thank appreciate you. And it. And I always uh, appreciate the comments. So that drives me when, when people... Yeah people encourage me. Well, I'm glad you were here today and it was always it's always good for me to promote a book. <laughs> I always love to do that and our be beautiful marble, but um, I wish you luck and um, great equipment and great photography and a great eye for all of that. So thank you so much, Mark, for being here and I Thanks hope you will join us next time on Library Connection.